Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're looking to protect your portfolio and boost your income when the interest rates drop, you have come to the right place. Today I will be showing the best dividend ETFs when the interest rates go down. Whether you're an experienced investor or just starting out, dividend ETFs can be a way to have a secure, steady income even in the low rate environment. So let's dive in and see how you can make the most of these opportunities. Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is David Das, a retired engineer, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Think and Retire. In this channel, I talk about building wealth and income from the stock market. In this video, I will talk about six things. Number one, the current interest rate and the forecast for the next few years. Number two, the sectors which perform better when the interest rates drop. Number three, the top dividend ETF in each of these sectors with the highest assets under management. And at the end of this video, I will provide a list of all the ETFs that were screened for net assets of over $100 million. So that's about 42 of these ETFs that I will present at the end. Number four, how to choose the right dividend ETFs. Number five, why timing is important. And number six, we will talk about a summary of the video. So the first segment of this video is about the falling interest rates. Bank of Canada has reduced interest rates three times in 2024 already. As of September 4, 2024, the current interest rate is 4.25%. Forecasters believe that it may go down to about 2.25% by the end of 2025. You can see a similar forecast for 2024, 2025 and 2026 for United States. Eurozone, United Kingdom, and Switzerland as well. Now we will talk about which sectors perform well when the interest rates drop. Lower interest rate encourages borrowing and reduces the cost of the variable rate debt. It benefits business earnings and increases the investor interest, which actually increases the stock prices of these companies. Lower interest rate also have other impacts, so let's keep a long-term view. As we all know, uncertainty prevails in the stock market. The three particular sectors that normally do better in the low interest environment are utilities, real estate, and materials. There may be others like industrials and few other sectors, but we will focus more on the utilities, real estate, and materials sector. Utilities, they are generally high capital intensive companies. They borrow a lot of money to run their operation for capital projects, maintenance and upgrades. So the cost of borrowing is pretty high when the interest rates are higher and vice versa when the interest rate goes down. And the second factor is utility companies are defensive dividend payers and they compete with bonds. Bonds become less attractive when the interest rate goes down and at the time money flows from bonds to the safer dividend paying companies. The greater demand puts the upward pressure on the utility stock prices. And the second sector I mentioned is real estate. Real estate properties are generally financed so when the interest rates are low the cost of borrowing is low. Even real estate companies can buy more properties so their revenues can go up and the profits can also go grow up. Material stocks produce chemicals, metals, construction materials and paper products. In good times, the more construction, more transportation, more packaging of finished products. So basically, there is upward pressure of these stocks to go up. Now in this segment, which is number three, we will talk about the top dividend ETFs in each of these three sectors like the utilities, real estate, and the materials. Please keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only and not a recommendation to buy or sell any ETFs. So please do your own research before investing. For the utilities sector, the top dividend ETF in terms of the total assets is S&P 500 Utilities Sector SPDR ETF with the ticker symbol XLU. The total assets under management is 18.2 billion US dollars. Dividend yield is 2.84%, Morningstar has a rating of 4 star and the expense ratio is 0.09%. I have 8 ETFs in this particular sector which is the utilities which I'm going to present at the end of this video. For the real estate sector, the top dividend paying ETF with the highest asset under management is Vanguard Real Estate ETF with the ticker symbol VNQ. Morningstar has a rating of 3 star. Total assets is $38.4 billion. 
The 12 month yield is 3.74%, expense ratio is 0.13%, and I have found 19 ETFs with an asset under management of over $100 million in this real estate sector. For the third sector of materials, the top dividend ETF with the highest asset under management is S&P 500 Material Sector HPDR ETF with the ticker symbol XLB. Morningstar has a four-star rating. The total asset value is $5.4 billion. 12-month yield is 1.84%. Expense ratio is 0.09%. And I have found 15 ETFs with an asset under management over $100 million in the materials sector category. Now we are going to talk about how to choose the right dividend ETF for your portfolio. Here are a few suggestions. Number one is definitely the yield. Make sure that it has enough yield. While high yields are tempting, just make sure they are sustainable. Number two is diversification. An ETF by itself is well diversified because it's a basket of many stocks. Just make sure that you have ETFs from different sectors so that you are well diversified. Number three is expense ratio. Keep an eye on the expense ratio as higher fees can eat your return over a long period of time. Number four is track record focus on ETFs which invest in companies which has a long history of paying and increasing dividends. That basically tells you it has the financial strength and stability. Now we are going to talk about why timing is important. Timing is very crucial when you are investing in dividend paying ETFs in low interest rate environment. When the interest rate drops, money flows from bonds to high quality dividend paying companies. So it's better to get in early before the market catches on. It's also important to stay consistent. Dividend investing is a long term play. Rather than trying to time the market, focus on dollar cost averaging, investing small amounts on a regular basis and have a long term window. So the last segment is final thoughts and recap. Before I go into the list of all the 42 ETFs, let's summarize what we have learned so far. Number one, we have looked into the current interest rates and the trends in the next few years. Number two, we identified three sectors which normally perform better in the low cost environments. Number three, we have identified one dividend paying ETF in each of these sectors with the highest asset under management. And we also will provide a list of all the 42 ETFs which met our criteria of assets in the management of over $100 million. Number four, how to select the, uh, the dividend paying ETF. Remember, it's all about staying patient, uh, investing regularly and focusing on the long term strategy. Now let's look at all the ETFs in each of these sectors. There are eight in utility sectors, 19 in real estate sectors and 15 in the material sector. So here is the list. If you found the video helpful, please like and share. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and press the bell icon so you do not miss my future videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Happy investing.